Welcome to the fifth homework video. Last week, you received your hardware, and after implementing stereo rendering and lens distortion correction, you created a very simple VR display. One that isn't much more complicated than the stereoscopes developed in the 19th century. In this homework, we're stepping into the 21st century with the addition of orientation tracking via an IMU. By the end of this homework, you'll enjoy a much more realistic VR experience and will be able to simply rotate your head to look around the scene. No mouse needed. Make sure to go through the tutorials in the lab to get familiar with the Arduino and Teensy development environments. Two useful features of the Arduino IDE that you will need for this homework are the serial monitor and serial plotter. The serial monitor is a pop-up window that acts as a separate terminal that communicates with the Teensy by receiving and sending serial data. The serial plotter visualizes the stream data by plotting numeric values in real time. Because the two share the same serial connection, only one can be active at a time. To get you accustomed to the tracking problem, you'll start with a toy 1D example in section 2.2. Using the IMU and Teensy, you'll estimate just the role of the VRduino with Euler angles. With the serial plotter, you will visualize your role estimates streaming from the Teensy by setting it to stream flatland data. In section 2.2.2, you'll estimate the role using only gyroscope values, as indicated by the blue line. Notice the bias. You can also estimate role by using the accelerometer, and you'll implement an accelerometer-only role estimate in section 2.2.3, as indicated by the red line. In section 2.2.4, you'll combine these two streams of data with a complementary filter, as indicated by the green line. Once you have a working 1D tracker, you will move on to estimating the 3D orientation of the VR Duino. Visualizing 3D orientation data in the serial monitor is challenging, so we built a 3D orientation visualizer for you under visualizer slash visualize.html. This will render a digital twin of your VR Duino. You will need to run a node server to stream data to the visualizer, so follow the instructions in the homework handout on how to install and set this up. For reasons described in lecture, extending orientation tracking to 3D with Euler angles is not a good idea. Instead, you will use quaternions for the 3D orientation tracking task in section 2.4. You will start by getting an initial estimate on the 3D orientation by simply integrating the gyroscope measurements in section 2.4.1. Using the accelerometer values, you will also be able to estimate the tilt angles, pitch and roll, in section 2.4.2. Finally. Like with 1D tracking, we'll combine these two streams of data with a complementary filter to get an accurate estimate on the VR Duino's orientation in 3D. If your implementation is correct, the digital VR Duino will mimic any rotation performed by the physical one. For debugging purposes, we have provided you with some pre-recorded IMU measurements, which you can turn on by setting the simulate IMU variable to true in the vrduino.ino file. You may find this useful when comparing complementary filtering with different alpha values. Once we have a good estimate of the VR Duino's 3D orientation, we can do something interesting with it. In section 2.5.1, you'll use this orientation estimate to update the view matrix such that the viewing content updates correctly when you rotate your head. Once complete, you will essentially have implemented your own version of a Google Cardboard or Samsung Gear VR from scratch. In section 2.5.2, You'll take this one step farther and take advantage of the kinematic constraints on the head and neck motions to estimate the head's position and corresponding view of the scene. You'll expand on this simple form of positional tracking in next week's homework when you start reverse engineering HTC's positional tracking solution. Good luck, and make sure to come to office hours or post on Piazza if you have any questions.